Survivors and descendants of Section 14 in Palm Springs who are demanding reparations will be meeting this upcoming weekend. News Channel 3's Miyoshi Price has a preview of what to expect this Sunday as the city continues to grapple with this part of its history. I feel saddened because of what took place here. This area is just a part of a one square mile of land that is known as Section 14. It was home to hundreds of people, including Alvin Taylor and Delia Ruiz Taylor, mostly minority families until the 60s. We were treated like animal, herded off like cattle and sheep, not offered uh, any type of compensation, but we were just told to leave uh, with no uh, relocation funding. The Taylors say they were evicted and their homes were completely destroyed for the city's development. Locals are seeking reparations, and Ariva Martin is the lead attorney for the survivors and descendants of Section 14. The first part of the Sunday meeting will be those experts providing uh, really critical information about the uh, issue of racial trauma, the issue of erasure, talking about how you determine economic loss, as well as what reparations are and what reparations aren't. Mainly, we want to make them aware also that this is not uh, what a lot of people have made it to be. They've made it to be a black and a white thing. This is a social justice issue. Martin says the meeting at the United Methodist Church in Palm Springs is going to be like reparations 101. We are then going to spend some time looking at some reparations models that have been proposed around the country with a particular focus on the San Francisco reparations proposal that was submitted to its county board of supervisors a couple of weeks ago. As the Taylors look at the land that used to be their home, they get emotional. Just a devastating um, trauma. Uh, that's, you know, when I come back and I stand and I look at the uh, the plots here, the, uh, the you know, it's just, it, it's just, it, it's horrifying. In Palm Springs, Miyoshi Price, News Channel 3. The attorney says a reparations plan will be submitted to the city in late May or the beginning of June.